Greetings, YouTube. As we prepare for July 4th and the historic hyped-up deals, at least, we'll see if the deals actually meet the hype, there is uh, a significant issue that we know exists for the first time this month that has never existed in the game. And that, of course, is Kabam now taking control of the transactions from Apple and Google and making it to where they can lock you out of all unit purchases cash purchases, and even the ability to access your own stash of units. Now, the question has been, what's this going to look like? Because we have not seen an example of this until now. Pep1000's friend, uh, who obviously, for good reason, wants to remain anonymous, basically, the story goes, there was an issue in the game, he completed a refund, but the refund was recently processed in this new window when Kabam can flag any account that they see gets a refund that's, I guess, not through them, even though it's a confusing issue because if Apple did it, then it wasn't Kabam's jurisdiction because it was not in the time period that they claimed to now have access to refunds. So anyhow, as you can see from this screen, all unit deals are locked out, literally with a red padded lock. But the most fascinating part of this to me is what the units look like. They have this weird symbol that also be, uh, makes your units red and keeps you locked out from any purchases whatsoever. So it says, what's a contest credit? Purchases made on your account have been refunded. These refunds are represented as a negative balance of contest credits. While your balance is negative, you'll be unable to spend units or purchase special offers. To remove these restrictions, purchase contest credits in the unit store. If you believe this to be an error, please contact Kabam Support through your settings tab. So once again, my biggest fear with this new system was that Kabam Support has to be your lifeline if they make a mistake and you know there's going to be times that they do. And we know that they don't often read the actual message that you put in a help request. Nevertheless, have the confidence to make your issue correctly uh, where it needs to be to not be overcharged. So they are charging this particular user $69.99 for a box of credits, literally what it's called. But that only gives you $4,999. And, uh, and so excess contest credits will auto-convert to units at a set rate. And I don't know if he needs to get 8,211 of those, it looks like, in order to lock himself out of the ability to just give them your money and actually get something back. This is not to get anything. This is just for the ability to give them your money and have it count for something. And so let's say he has to purchase two of these to get out of Kabam Jail. That's... $140 cash? And if this refund was an error by Kabam, he's going to have to spend $140 extra, dollars, which is a lot of money. Let us not discount how much money that could buy, uh, especially on eBay now, a used console with multiple games and controllers, memory cards, etc. This is just what this user has to spend to get out of Kabam jail. This is a uh, startling situation. I'm sure there are going to be people that deserve this, right? People who tried to cheat the system, but there's also going to be summoners, like the average summoner, that just gets flat out screwed from this new system. So you have to purchase a box of credits, which will hopefully get you out of Kabam Jail, and the excess contest credits will auto-convert to units. But at the same time, they're setting their own amount. So they're basically saying, instead of having the black market of refunds and units, we're going to create our own black market based on our, our own calculations. Who knows if they're correct? and give you these box of units or box of credits, which will auto-convert with the excess into units from now on. So this is the state of the game in 2019, forever and ever. Somehow Kabam now legally has the ability to take what was run through Apple or the Google Play Store and make it their own. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this below. It certainly is a change. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe it's for the worse. It certainly depends on the user and the issue at hand. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.